Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am The Gentleman and welcome to another episode of The Gentleman's Pixel Club. Today, on the Game Boy, we are playing Monty on the Run. Aha! Some of you may say, that game doesn't exist. Well, technically it does because it's been recreated in recent times for the Game Boy system, but it never actually came out on it. But first, if you choose, you can follow us on YouTube, you can follow us on Twitter, and you can follow us on TikTok. All of those handles are on the screen at the moment. So, for my pain, for your pleasure, this is Monty on the Run on the Game Boy. The credits are on the screen at the moment. Came out in 1986, the credits have actually gone very quickly, and re-released in 2021. So what's that? 31 years later, this new vision came out. And this is Monty on the Run, as I say, on the Game Boy. This did not exist, it never existed, but we're giving it a go for the first time. If you like what you see, it is available to download for free on the URL on the bottom right hand side of the screen. I believe when I do these videos it's very very important to try and credit the people that recreate these, that spend their time, their money producing old games on old systems, but for new emulators and new concepts and new hardware to run. It's a good thing they do this, and if they didn't do it, people like me wouldn't have content to show on the channel. So honestly, thank you very much. So, playing the Game Boy, but on a big, big screen TV, we're using this controller to do it. So think of what you see, or usually on a handheld, is going to be on a massive screen for me. This is how I will be experiencing this, to give us the quality of the video, perhaps not in terms of my gameplay, but in terms of what we see on the screen, available for you to view. So let's push start, enough talking has happened. So there is Monty. This is based on the Commodore 16 version of um, Monty on the run. So, you know, don't know how it's going to compare too much to the Spectrum version. Don't really remember the Spectrum version. And this channel has a bit of a love-hate relationship with Monty. I recently played uh, Molly Christmas, which is a freebie. Absolutely hated the bloody thing. And, you know, I, I hope that I'm going to enjoy this a little bit more. So controls are left, right, and then you've got sort of jump to jump up. Uh, the other fire button doesn't seem to do anything at the moment and we can hit select to bring up a map and this map will show us effectively all the screens we should be able to go to we're on the top right hand side we got to collect 57 coins and we have scored zero points so hitting select to get rid of that jumping up and there's a coin above us so if we get that what's it going to do is it going to take off two coins or one coin so go back to select how many do we have left it did say a 2 in it, 56, right, so regardless of it seems to have the number 2 on the coins, that's not true, oh he falls quite, quite dramatically, look how hard he falls off these platforms, boom, straight to the bottom like that, I need to remember that, but at least we've learned that fall damage doesn't kill us, so, well, oh, this is odd, usually when we play platform type games you're used to seeing the whole platform on the screen at once due to the nature of what they've done on the Game Boy here you're kind of in a scrolling environment you know it seems you know a little different this actually feels like I, I'm, I'm playing a a black and white spectrum game at the moment so they got rid of all the color clash and made it black and white clearly they haven't done that because you know this is a, a conversion of a, a Commodore version but yeah it does feel that way okay so he's got a little bit of inertia when he falls down I need to remember that so i can kind of fall a little bit to the left and right so let's try and do a running jump nope and i died straight away that was a quick death no ghosts nothing like that bang out of the picture so let's try for that again i think maybe if i try and hit it from the top that could be better good all right so i'm going to try and run all the way to the right and see whether yes i got that so that's how to do that Getting back might be a bit hard. I guess we have to run to the left here and hope we can time it just right or we can. I forget he falls very hard, very fast. So let's go back to the map. Little leg timer, that's quite cute here. And yep, so 54 coins to go, scored 600 points. And we're going to go to the left here. Oh, and there's a crusher. There's a water and there is some, some things to climb. On the original Monty Mole, on the Spectrum, the crushers were random I don't know whether these are let's have a look so let's get close one two three four five one two three four okay yeah they, they, they seem to not be random there which is good the water is gonna kill us 
I suspect. Uh, this is really surreal when you sort of play these scrolling games in terms of you don't see the full screen. This is going to make it harder, but more fun. Up we go. Oh, oh, the animation looks perfect as well from the Spectrum. I know I keep comparing this to the Spectrum and I apologise to the Commodore owners, but Monty Mole did originally come out on the Spectrum and, you know, it, it would have all been effectively inspired from him or uh, that system one way or another. But, oh, this animation is so nice. The sounds here, though, the sounds here are infinitely better on what you ever had on the Spectrum. So jump up here. Oh, did I time it wrong? Jump to the left. Jump to the right, jump up and go up here. Okay, so I think, I think if we go down here again, I, I the only way I can probably, yeah, the only way I can get, to, oh, I was so lucky there. The only way I can get to that coin on the right hand side is go up and down. So not only is it gonna be impossible to clear the, the the sheets in one go you've you've actually got to leave screens and come back um to them because you know i can't get all the all the coins on this screen on this single instance okay good to know so let's go up the ladder and i think that's some kind of penguin sliding on its butt i don't know whether it's me but you know i'm looking at this and this is obviously a game boy uh you know recreation of the game here but you know the the the, 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 the sprites the one on the left actually seems momentarily brighter than the other so it's really nice what they've done with color what they've done with shading so up here jump here so how am i right i think i've got to go all the way to the left to then get up these platforms to get to the one on the right because oh i don't think i can jump up oh i can i can all right i didn't think i could jump that high so let's go down here very carefully and get that coin here. Oh, it's, it's a good job they've got this map because this the, the map that we've seen before because this game could get a little bit confusing. So another life because we stupidly lost one earlier. And up here, and we, we seem to be in the top of a house. I don't know, up wrong way, you silly mole. There's a UFO in here, we need to avoid that. And, and what what is this? What is that there? It's either pretty doing... Ah, oh, damn it. It's either pretty doing nothing or not good. So up, jump again. Jump again. I need to try and get that coin, which is to the right of that crusher. I think I can do it. Is that a no, 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 run away. Oh, didn't fall to my death there. That reminded me of uh, Jet Set Willy, uh, Technician Ted, where you've got these platform games and you fall off the edges and, and you just end up in perpetual death. I wonder what happens here. I'm not going to try it out, but it could certainly be a possibility. And look at that. By a mistake I made, I was able to collect that coin because I, I didn't know that I wasn't going to be able to make that jump. So three lives left. And we need to. I think we need to go back to that top bit of the house there was still at least one coin there. If we hit select to look at the map to see what screens we've got available. Yes, that screen is at the very... Oh, oh, look at this. It showed you the paths as well. I never noticed that before. I just thought it was a collection of screens, but it's showing you the paths on the way through. So, yeah, I have to somehow get that coin, and I can only do that on this screen. There is no other choice. So jump you... Okay. Ah, oh, no, missed. I missed. I might have lost a life and then carried on falling all at the same time. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I was on four lives. I hit an alien as I fell down and then carried on falling out of that screen to the next screen. So let's try to go up one more time. We're going to give this one more life a go to try and get to this otherwise we will go and explore some of the other screens that we can see here this is fun this is nice and it's incredible ah oh, damn it never mind sorry we'll, we'll give that a miss it's incredible when, when when you look at the can i go left no i can't go left we'll have to go down and right it's incredible when you look at some of the work that's gone into these games all for free you know there's some really really talented coders out there and to think that people do this 
for a hobby as well. You know, they're, they're not getting money for this. They're creating these great conversions, literally for a hobby. So up we go here. On itch.io, you can pay for some games, but this is one of the ones that was free. Didn't seem to want you to name a price. And that's the thing with itch.io. When you go into itch.io and you, you pick a game that you want, it says name your price and you can download it for free anyway. Some do charge money and you have to pay a set amount of money, but this one wasn't even name your price. It was just available to download. So that's good. That's a bonus. I've spent a lot of money recently. And my wallet is probably saying, you know, gentlemen, I'm glad you finally stopped spending just for a day or two. So we are, we're here now. We've, we've got 1,600 points. We're never going to complete this because I know that the, the, the coin at the, the top of the screen, I'm never going to get. But I'm wondering, if I look on the middle of the screen, you've got those sort of two triangle arrows next to each other, one at either end. Is that a warp point to cross the screen? So let's explore that. Let's go have a look. So wait for the crusher. Made the crusher. Go across here. Jump up and avoid you. This this has got some really uh, no no no. I'm back at the start screen. I've gone the wrong way. You utter fool. How could I not? How could I not recognise that I was going the the, the wrong way? How how uh, stupid stupid. And I land in the water. All right, let's jump you. So how do I get past all of this? I need to look at the map again. Aha, look, the map shows you, the map tells you. Go on the screen above, and if you look, the square above me has got a screen to the left, a passage to the left, so I can do that. Up there, up there, wait for that baddie to pass. I have two lives. I still have two lives. Come on, jump. And we're going to go to the left. All right, so we should have an option to go down on this screen, on the block we're showing. Yes, the block we're showing there, we can go down. Right, understood, understood. Two lives. Not much to do, but collect coins. Try and avoid that bad guy. I think I should jump in when he goes down. Get that coin, so at least I've achieved something. Jump again. Now I wonder if we can go up and we can make that jump. I bet we can't. No, we can't. We can't. I got myself killed. But that doesn't look too appetizing. Those look like spikes. And yeah, they were fucking spikes. That didn't look too appetizing. So, this has been Monty on the run on the Game Boy. I've scored 1,800 points. You know... The game clearly isn't very big because it's been converted from the Commodore 16, which is why I'm only playing this once. But this is nice. This is fun. And I don't like to give too many spoilers away on the games that I play. So, especially new games that you find like this. So, playing it once allows you to see a little bit of the game and quite a few of my deaths. We can see, we think, how big the game is by the, the maps that we've got there on the screen. So I've had fun playing this. I've enjoyed playing this. And I'm the gentleman, and this is the gentleman's pixel club. And this, this is an absolutely lovely conversion that you can get down on the URL on the bottom right hand side of the screen. So you stay safe, you take care, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Would you like to play again? Hello there, just a quick word from me. If you're a subscriber to this channel, Thank you very much. Honestly, it means the world to me and the world to Harun that I'm holding. Harun would like all of you to be subscribers to this channel. And if you are this far through the video and you haven't subscribed, but you feel that I have earned your subscription through the content that you've seen so far, please, please consider subscribing. It makes me happy. It makes Harun happy. And when Harun's happy, everybody's happy. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.